Hello, today we will speak about the moment of a force or the torque. Consider a door that has the ability to rotate about a fixed axis delta passing through its hinges. If we try to push the door, not any force can cause its rotation. If the line of action of the force is parallel to the axis of rotation or passing through it, then the force has no ability to cause rotation. So how can we open or close the door? A force has tendency to rotate an object about an axis if its line of action and the axis are neither parallel nor intersecting. The moment of a force is a physical quantity that measures the tendency of the force to rotate an object about a given axis. Consider a wrench that has the ability to rotate about a fixed axis passing through its pivot point and perpendicular to the plane of the screen. A force of magnitude 17 newtons is applied at the end of the wrench at an angle 37 degrees with the axis of the wrench and 25 centimeters away from the pivot point. Different forces can rotate the wrench either clockwise, like the direction of rotation of the arms of the clock, or anti-clockwise. The force F can rotate the wrench anti-clockwise, so let's choose the positive sense of rotation to be anti-clockwise. So let's calculate the moment of a force. The moment of a force about a fixed axis delta is equal plus or minus F times D, where F is the magnitude of the force and D is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the axis of rotation. We still have to find the distance D. We extend the line of action of the force, then we put one of the sides of the set square on the line of action of the force, and we move the set square until we reach the pivot point. The other side of the set square is the distance D, where D is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of the force and the axis of rotation passing through the pivot point. The moment is positive when the force can rotate the object in the positive sense of rotation, and it is negative when the force can rotate the object in the negative sense of rotation. The force is expressed in newtons and the distance is expressed in meters, so the moment is expressed in newton times meters. Consider this triangle. In this triangle, sine 37 equals opposite over the hypotenuse, equals D over 25. So D is equal 25 times sine 37. Inserting the values of D and F in the equation of moment, we get that the moment equals 2.55 Newton times meters. And this is everything for now.